find the slope of the tangent. In other words, find the derivative and then plug a number into it. That's how you find slopes. And that means we need a derivative, so let's have a look at this function. Again, they've done, they're using the trig notation with the square here, which I'm going to rewrite because, I mean, you can work with that form, of course, but in case you're still feeling a little unsteady with the chain rule, this might help you a little bit because it tells you that the outermost layer, the thing you must differentiate first, is this power of 2. So when we do this derivative, dy dx, at the outermost layer this is two going to be 2 times something to the first power. 2 times, just recopy cosine 2x to the power of 1. That's our first layer. Now that you've done that, pretend it's gone, and that you're just looking at cosine 2x do its derivative. The derivative of a cosine is negative sine. Just copy the 2x. And now that the cosine's gone, pretend you just are down to the 2x and do its derivative, which is the number 2. So if we clean that up, 2 times a negative sign makes negative 2, times another 2 makes negative 4, that's our coefficient. And then we have cosine 2x and sine 2x. Notice here we've got the sine of something, the cosine of the same thing, and a power of 2. We could do that double angle formula if we wanted to, and it would save us a quarter second of calculating our derivative. I'm not sure it's worth it for this since it's not all that complicated to begin with, but if you're looking at this and thinking the double angle formula would work, you're right. And if you use it, you should get the same answer that I'm going to in a moment. Now, the angle they've given us here is pi by 2, which is 90 degrees. So when we go to do our direction here, we get negative 4 cosine 2 times 90 and then the sine of 2 times 90. And unfortunately that makes for a kind of lame result because we get minus 4, the cosine of 180 is negative 1 and the sine of 180 is 0, so overall the slope of this line is 0.